Hi guys, welcome to the next video. Um, I've been trying to get back to do um, a couple of videos for some time now, but have just not had the opportunity to do so um, until now. Well, actually, I probably did have some time um, yesterday, but just didn't didn't take advantage of my time wisely. So I'm coming on today. Um, I have some information that happened last week, which I thought was pretty extraordinary, and I felt like I needed to share it. Now, as you can tell, my background's a little bit different. My red curtains aren't here and <laughs> and whatnot, but um, we are spending some time down at the condo, my husband and I, um, at the beach this week, um, just to try and get some R&R. &R. But last week, I was in a conference. Um, I was in a, um, a week-long conference. I am a servant um, of the state of North Carolina, and I work in the public health field. And so we had a statewide um, conference last week. And while we were at the conference, we learned some information in regards to change of uh, our director and upper management within, uh, within our agency. And while we were in a staff meeting, um, learning and understanding about a lot of the different changes and what the big public health events that we saw on the horizon that was coming up, um, she made mention of something that really um, that really stuck out to me. Um, she was identifying certain public health events um, that we would need to be made aware of. Um, when there's a huge event that comes um, into town, let's just say like the Democratic National Convention, um, then all of your emergency, your statewide emergency management people have to go into the planning phase and to cover certain areas for masses of people coming into a particular area. And public health is no different. We have to do the same thing. And so, um, and so the information that she made mention, I had, I had no idea was even forthcoming. I had no idea about it at all. Um, however, the minute that she made mention of it, I looked over at my friend Wendy, who was sitting right beside me, and we both looked at each other at the, at the same time, and I know my eyes must have been like that big. Um, the information that she made known is um, dealing with a, um, a mass of people that seem to be coming um, to the United States for a particular event. And, um, and when she made known the event, I immediately after the meeting went and um, did some research as to what um, and when this particular event was. Um, when she was speaking of the event, she was speaking of um, how tickets have been selling out for this event within five minutes. Um, people are amassing into um, the United States to um, to be part of this particular event. And so um, when I received the information, I immediately thought of that fireworks dream. Now you guys, uh, I don't know if you remember the fireworks dream, but I wanna at least read it to you because then I'm gonna have to switch applications on this video so that I can show you some information um, on some websites that I found online, which I think you're going to find extremely interesting. So let me go into, um, let's see, where the, um, where the dream was. So I'm just going to read it to you. So this dream was on, um, let's see, when did I receive it? May the... Uh, May the 16th, I believe, 2016, I believe is when I received this dream. Um, and we've been talking about this dream, so this is not going to be new to any of you that have been watching um, my channel. So um, the dream is this. I basically said last night, and in fact for many nights now, my dreams are sporadic and many in one night. I cannot remember them all. But I do know that there, that there are many of them. I awake often in the night to roll over and drift back to sleep only to get another dream. So what I'm about to tell you was in fact not a dream, but someone speaking to me in the night. And I felt like it was, I felt like I was in a dream state, not awake. 
um, and I didn't see anything while this person spoke. And this person was a male voice. It was a male voice. And so I said, I didn't see anything while he spoke. Um, that is until I asked a question. So I'm just going to go ahead and explain what we mean. So for those who have been watching my videos, you are familiar with this already. But I want to recap it just a little bit because some of the information that we're going to be seeing um, on some of these websites is going to tie into this. And so on my right side and somewhat behind me or just slightly behind me, these words were said. Um, Alicia will fall from the sky the day after tomorrow. So now we've gone in and done a whole um, thing of videos where we understand A for E and E for A and that is actually Elisha. And we talked about um, we talked about um, that this falling could possibly be the mantle, the, the, the supernatural abilities and giftings, anointings from the Lord. And, um, and we talked that Elisha was actually Elijah times two because he did receive the double anointing. And so I asked this voice, um, is this a plane, an airline? And so in response to my question, I was given this dream. I had come out of a building of sorts where I had an appointment, I think, and I had, I had gotten into my car and I realized uh, that I realized that the time that I had been in this building, in this appointment, the, tra the traffic had built up into a traffic jam outside. And I realized that it was people coming to see the fireworks. And so I was questioning the 4th of July because here in America, that's our Independence Day and typically a day for fireworks. And um, I said, so um, I realized that the people were coming to see the fireworks and were lining up on the sides of the road early. And I wondered in my mind why they were there so early. It was, it was only 1230. I had a thought that it would be a long wait for 530. Now, while awake, I realized that it does not get dark enough for fireworks at 530. So it appears that these times may be important. I also wondered if it could represent a date. Is this going to happen this Wednesday, the day after tomorrow, or around the fourth holiday, or May 30th? I wasn't sure, so I was just pondering. So in my dream, I could see people in the back seats of cars, perfectly content on sitting and waiting for finding a place to park and wait. And I, on the other hand, did not want anything to do with it, and I just wanted to get home. I finally made my way around the people who were inching along, and I think that was the end of that particular dream. But then the dream switched, and I now found myself in a wheeled office chair instead of my car, and I was pushing myself along by my legs and wheeling myself forward slowly. I was in a hallway, and I saw my boss giving someone a washcloth that belonged to me. I continued wheeling myself down the hall, and I realized I had a prescription in my hand. And I made my way to a security window at the end of the hall and noticed that the person who manned the office had their back to me and was on the phone. So I waited. Someone came up to me, and I spoke the name of the medication that was written on the paper. It started with an A. The person said that was all right. If they did not have enough of it, then this other medication that also started with an A, or this second medication that also started with an A, could be substituted. I awoke this morning and looked for the airlines with the name of Alicia. Okay, and so then we, we realized I found the star that said Alicia, and it was, you know, whatever. But anyway, it came, it came up to be... This is Alicia, and Alicia will be falling the day after tomorrow. So this is the dream that I wanted to just kind of um, go back over because this is what popped into my mind immediately the minute that I heard um, the information from my boss about public health events that we need to prepare for here in the state of North Carolina. And so, um, so what it is that she mentioned, she mentioned the eclipse. She mentioned the eclipse that is coming in August of 2017. 
that is going to come completely across the country of the United States. There is a path of totality that they speak of where there will be complete darkness for about two, two and a half minutes in each area as it moves completely across the country. Now, um, I don't know how long it's going to take to come completely across the country, um, but I know it's in the middle of the day or it's during daylight hours that this is going to happen. And so, um, and so I wanted to bring that to your attention. I wanted, because the minute that she said it, something within me went, that's it, that's it. And so um, I'm gonna be ending this video here just shortly so that the next video that I bring up, I can at least show you some of the websites and things that I have found in regards to, um, in regards to um, the eclipse that's gonna be coming across the, across the, the country. Guys, tickets have been sold out for this within five minutes in certain areas. People are coming into the country just so that I, they can be part of this event, this sky event, this um, complete <laughs> darkness. Now, totality, the, the blackness where it actually gets dark, is only in a span, it's only in a path that seems to be coming across the country. Um, so not all, of, not all of the country is going to see complete darkness. They will see and see the effects of the, the eclipse going across, but they won't experience the totality of the darkness, only a certain path coming across um, the United States. And I think there's a handful of, of states as it comes through. So I'll show you some of the things that I found. It's extremely interesting. Um, but I'm going to tell you what I thought about um, in regards to this. Now, we've been warned about the days of darkness. We've been warned about the great earthquake that's going to probably kick it off. And then we were warned about um, the signs in the sky, the, the colors, the red skies and the colors in the skies as being, um, as being a sign, a forewarning. Um, but there was also going to be a cosmic event that the whole world was going to know about. Um, and that was going to be the one thing that we needed to be aware of and, um, and to take heed to. There have been many, many um, messengers that have put out information in regards to um, this particular cosmic event. And we all wondered, what could it be? Is it going to be asteroids falling? Is it going to be, um, you know, fire from heaven? Is it going to be uh, meteors or comet? You know, what, what could it possibly be? Um, well, this cosmic event that is, that is going to be cutting across and coming across um, the whole United States on August the 21st, 2017, is definitely a cosmic event. Now, is this the one event that everyone is pointing to? I don't know. I'm going to submit that for your discernment. I'm going to ask that you seek the Lord on it um, and ask him to guide you into all truth. But I'm going to tell you this. You know, the Lord will use anybody to get information to us. He used my director in a staff meeting to provide this information that I had no, I had no idea was even forthcoming but the whole world does know. And a lot of them have already booked hotels, um, plane flights, the whole nine yards. Tickets are sold out all across the country for this event that is coming. And, um, and so it was made, to, made mention to me and the minute that I heard it, I knew. I was, and, and right then that fireworks dream came into play. So I wanted to go ahead and submit that for your discernment. But many messengers have already put out messages in the past, and you guys can go back and listen. But some of this information came to mind as I was going through and seeking information in regards to this eclipse, because some of the messages were, when this cosmic event happens, 
and everyone else is like, ooh, ah, and looking up at the sky, we were already told and forewarned, don't do that. Go about your business, get your supplies for your home, and get your families into the house. We, we heard about that. We've heard about the warnings that are coming, forthcoming to the days of darkness and the earthquake event. So again, is this the specific cosmic event that is forthcoming and spoken about that will prelude the days of darkness? Only God knows. And so I'm submitting this for your discernment. Please seek him on that matter. I know I'm going to be doing the same. So guys, um, I also wanted to go ahead and address um, the last part of that dream. As, a po as working in the public health arena, um, I know that when big events happen, um, when big events happen, um, mass distributions of medications a lot of times will, will, will be given um, through, um, through public health agencies. Um, if there's a, a flu pandemic, then a lot of times antibiotics will be given out. Um, and, you know, information is given as to dosages for, you know, adults and children and what have, and there will be uh, centralized meeting places where folks can come and pick up the medications that they need. Um, when there's a mass pandemic like that, when there is maybe an attack, um, my director in this very meeting um, made mention of 9-11. She was involved, she's a doctor, and she was involved in um, um, some of the aspects of 9-11. And one of the first things that she did was she called in two prescriptions for doxycycline for her family, and then she went to work and was deployed out in the emergency services to help aid in 9-11. And she made a telephone call to her husband and she said, if I call you and I tell you, go get the prescription, don't ask me any questions, just go and get it and start to take it. And so, um, and so antibiotics are submitted out for things of that nature. So when she told us that, again, in that same staff meeting, <laughs> okay, in that same staff meeting, and in my dream, I was holding a prescription where the medication started with an A. And that if they did not have enough, it could be substituted with another medication that started with an A. So is that an antibiotic that can be substituted with a different antibiotic? You know, guys, I don't know. But I find it very very ironic that she would mention those two things that line up with that dream in the same meeting about something I knew completely nothing about until that very meeting. So guys, I want to submit this all for your discernment. I want you to go back, please, if you have some time, go back and listen to some of those um, studies that TB Shores uh, Seek and Ye Shall Find YouTube channel did on the days of darkness. There's a ton of information in there. And um, you know what? I will try to go through, I will try to go through and list some of them in a playlist. When you go to the main page of my YouTube channel, up at the top, there'll be tabs. One will say videos, one will say playlist, and I think there's several other different tabs. If you click on the playlist, I will try to have the start, maybe a handful of about 10 or 15 of those Days of Darkness videos from TB Shores. It, it, it is jam packed full of information that you're gonna need to know and need to understand. Hope I've mentioned these videos in the past before and hopefully you've gone back through and you've listened to some of them. But she has, she was really led by the Lord with that. Those videos are jam packed full of information, completely anointed and led by the Holy Spirit. You, you, there's no doubt about it. So guys, um, is this the cosmic event 
where we have been forewarned is a prelude to the days of darkness where we have been forewarned that we don't need to be going ooh and ah like everyone else is, but to go and get our supplies and get our houses in order, pull our families in. Guys, seek the Lord on that. I submit that for your discernment. I submit that for you, for prayer. So guys, okay, the next video that I come on uh, and do is just going to be one where we're focusing on where we're viewing the websites and the information that I found. Um, so you guys can also go through and do your own research and take a look at it. I have some other information that the Lord has given me. I'm not real sure I, I understand it all. Um, before I submit another video to you in regards to additional information, um, I really want to go into prayer about it. Um, I have two major things that I, 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 I've been in discussions about, but I really want to make sure that the Lord is confirming these before I put them forth. Um, and so I'm not sure when the next video is going to be, but it is going to be here very, very shortly. So guys, I just want to say God bless you. Thank you for coming back and listening to another video. Um, the chart that I did also to this one here, uh, the Enox chart. Um, there is an updated chart where I have actually added um, harvests, what, when things are being harvested, when the latter rains are, also um, some of some other additional information in there as well. So I'm going to try to um, submit a link of some sort to where you guys can find it. Um, I, I don't know if I'm able to upload another. Um, a picture or something on YouTube. I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do, but I'll try and figure out an easier way um, for you all to get it. However, um, if you're on Facebook, um, it has been provided to Facebook um, last week sometime. And if you're able to email me, I have provided my email address as well. I'll do it again here on the on the comments. Look in the comments on the pinned comment here and you should be able to find it. So guys, thank you so much. God bless you. I love you all. Stay under his wing. And, and seek him in prayer on this. God bless you.